from Virginia, man. We right there by D.C. and Maryland and all that. And Go-Go is heavy in that area. DMV, man. You know what I'm saying? So this morning I had to get up until I felt like some Go-Go. And this joint right here be cranking. It's that uh, John Legend um, best I've ever had uh, Subtle Thoughts joint. Sub by the Subtle Thoughts band. They killed that joint. That shit crazy. I, be, I had that thing on repeat. Yeah, y'all, hey, I can just let the song play. I know y'all want to hear that jump. But, um, hey, this morning I want to talk about a couple things real quick. Real quick, real quick. First of all, I want to talk about what your boy is reading. Right now, I'm reading The Millionaire Next Door. And I'm almost at the end. Y'all see my little bookmark. I'm almost at the end. And uh, that book is, is uh, The Millionaire Next Door. It's by Tom Stanley. And uh, Tom Stanley and uh, William D. Danko. And they did studies where they had all these millionaires come in and talk to them about how they spent their money, what they owned, how much money they spent the year, their best practices, what kind, I mean, you know, what kind of work they did, you know, were they first generation millionaires, all these different um, things to give everybody an idea about what kind of, uh, what, what millionaires do like like you know people think when you think of a millionaire you think of somebody with all this jewelry and big cars and super big house and all these things but what this book is showing is that like 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 the title of the name it's a lot of people that live right next door to you drive the most modest cars live in the most modest homes and they got they have more money than people who make more money than them basically because the people that make more money they spend more they consume more, you know, they trying to hold, uphold some kind of image, so they want to spend all this money on all these things, and then they don't have to take that money and invest. When somebody else, they, they say the money they would spend on these cars, they would invest that money into mutual funds or different things like that. And uh, it just talks about how, you know, even down to like how people with money, uh, um, you know, they think they're helping their kids by giving them all these financial gifts, where it's basically just enabling them because it creates a safety net where they think whatever anything ever happens, I can just always turn to my parents so I don't have to get, you know, they don't, it doesn't instill any kind of hustle into them where they go out and get it, get it you know, chase things down. But um, in a nutshell, that's what that's about. There's a lot of good information about that. But um, I don't suggest you just go start reading that book. I started reading that book years ago, but um, you have to get into the mind of finance. I suggest start reading something like uh, The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey first. And get the you know idea about finance before you tackle that because he has a lot of stats in there to throw you off, uh, like it did me the first time I tried to read it years ago. But now I'm, I'm knocking away at it. Oh, and I uh, yesterday I bought two books. I bought this book by uh, Gary Klein. It's called Seeing What Others Don't. And uh, I got this book, The Millionaire Mind. It's also by Tom Stanley. Well, um, this book, um, Seeing What Others Don't. I went, I went to the store just to get The Millionaire um, Mind by Tom Stanley. And um, when I went to that section, I saw that cover. And that cover is, it, uh, this cover, it looks a lot, a lot like uh, Malcolm Gladwell books. So I was wondering if it was one of his. But on the front, he commented about it. He gave it a good review. So I started reading it. And um, it, had, it had some good, uh, it had some good, it had a good story in the beginning. It's just talking about insight and how people, you know, how you can, uh, how people see into things and what gives us extra insight on, you know, what's going on around us. The story that I read in the beginning that made me want to buy this book, the first story was in there, it was, uh, it said these two police officers were riding in the car and uh, they were stuck in traffic, didn't seem to be bothered by being stuck in traffic, they were just sitting there, a younger guy and an older guy. So the younger guy was driving and they're looking around and there was this nice Mercedes in front of them. And, um, 
sat at the uh, guy in the Mercedes was smoking a cigarette, and he, uh, he when he went to ash the cigarette, he just ashed it like this, just ashed it in the car, like, like you no, know, the guy, the the younger guy, Pete, they said, did you see that? He said he just ashed the cigarette in this brand new Mercedes, and you know, and that ticked, you know, uh, you know, clicked in his mind, like, hey, you know, somebody who. Uh, Somebody who owns a car like that or just bought a car like that would not ask, you know, put the ashes, cigarette ashes in the car like that. So he said we lit him up, and next thing you know, dude was gone. Hot pursuit. They chasing the guy. The guy stole the car. So just having the insight to see that, you know, unlock, you know, what was going on. So, and I'm, 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 I'm uh, excited to see, you know, what other things this book has uh, in store. I might read this one. Right after I get done with that millionaire next door, just to take a break from these um, finance books for a little while, because I've been going hard on those. I read um, Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. I read Smart Money, Smart Kids by Dave Ramsey. I've read uh, Financial Peace by Dave Ramsey. And now I'm reading, uh, then I read Start by John Acuff. And now I'm reading The Millionaire Next Door. So that's like four finance books. So I'm going to try to take a break. I kind of got to... You know good idea on what's going on with the finances now so that's the that was the whole goal you know you got to feed your mind the stuff that you want uh to get better at and, and the things you want to come become new ideals and these things have to be fresh in your mind every day because you know as we all know you know you do the same little things every day they become a habit so if you constantly learning about finances and, and, and it's changing your the way you think about them then you can apply those things to everyday life and i feel like i got a lot of tools out of these books and from listening to Dave Ramsey on um, podcast and um, and uh, you know checking out his website and stuff so just been learning a lot about finances if you want to learn a lot about your finances man and, 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 and get the hell out of debt that's my focus right now getting the hell out of debt and uh, you know changing my family tree as far as what we what we do with money you know I, I, don't, I don't want to die and leave my kids with nothing but I, I also want to teach them about money and what you know what you're supposed to do with it, how to handle it, how to invest it, you know, spending, saving, giving, investing, all of those things. You know, I want to teach them those things. But um, so that's why I've been reading a lot of those kind of books. But you know, I I, tr I try to read you know one book a month. But lately here, depending on how big the book is, you know, I've been getting been able to get in too. And I only read. Uh, doing my one hour lunch break and my two 15 minute breaks at work. That's the only time I can read because I had kids and you know, and the wife and when I get home, uh, got homework to do, we got kids to feed, I get my son a bath every night and put him to bed, you know, so that's, that's, that's when I get home, that's time, that's time for that. And there's no, there's no way I can sit down and focus and read a book with toddler running around and my daughter asking me a million questions and my wife trying to tell me about her day, you know, you gotta learn how to, uh, try to balance your time you know i can get a lot better at that too but you know hey man baby steps man so but i just wanted to share with y'all real quick what i was reading and uh encourage y'all to go read some stuff too man I, I tell a lot of people if they a lot of people ask me what can they start with reading and uh i want y'all to go get this book if you want to start reading some quick this is this book you can read in a day you can read it in one day it's called uh who moved my cheese and um, I forget the name of the author, but uh, that book, it really, um, that book is part of the reason why I moved to Atlanta from Virginia. It's just basically about, um, you know, being aware of, uh, you know, situations like life is just full of situations where good, good times thrive and fade. You know, good things go on. You know, they happen to you, then they go on for a period of time, and eventually it's gonna come to a, come to an end, and then something else is gonna come along. But it's up to you to, you know, notice when things are going down and not get too comfortable and move on to the next thing when it's that right time. So you have to read the book. It's just about these two mice and how uh, one of them, they were like in this maze and they found this um, one found cheese and the other one, but well, they both found this cheese or whatever. And one of them just got comfortable with the cheese always being there. And then once it wasn't there, he couldn't, he didn't know how to, he didn't know what to do. He didn't know how to function correctly. So you, you, you need to uh, check it out though. It, it, it has a lot to do with life and the decisions that we make. So I want y'all to check that book out, man. And uh, definitely check that out. But just wanted to give y'all a quick you know, vlog on what I'm reading right now. And, uh, you know, 
tell y'all next time when I pick up some new ones, alright? Peace.